Hey guys, it's Green Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 9 of season 3 of Pretty Derby. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. These last couple of days have been hell. I have not had time to come home and record anything, so I have stuff from Sunday to today to record. Thank God I also have tomorrow off. So excited and nervous. <laughs> That's what I also want for Christmas, a freaking eye mask. Oh my God, Zen. <laughs> huh? Now? And where? Ma'am, I, I mean... <laughs> Kilo like, yeah, let's go on a trip. And, and just diving in like It's seven in the morning. How do you have all this energy at seven in the morning? But okay, let's go on a trip. Where do you wanna go? <laughs> We pray that my daughter, Rice, at least makes an appearance. It's okay if she doesn't. I'm still happy with Top Road because, you know, they went in on the Rice appearances. And it's okay. You also make me happy because nature gets to have, like, another moment in this season, so... the banana drinks and the bananas. Well, where do you want to go? I like the beach. Mm-hmm. What if they went on the wrong train? Yeah, make it a surprise. If they weren't dating then, I mean, with that sentence, Keita, you're dating already. I mean, come on now. Who says that? It 
This is on now the list of cutest fucking dates ever. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> He's like me so pretty. I mean, they seriously, honestly, as of now, they went everywhere but the beach. But it's still cute. Oh my god! <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Lighthouse? That one episode of, um, Layback Camp where it seemed like they traveled, like, all over to go to that, I think, that one camp. I'm getting feels towards that. And, and not gonna lie, I love that. Sweet.
Just how she did that day when you lost, baby. Oh. Your babies. I'm nervous. I don't like this feeling. But I'm still excited though. The fucking time <laughs> She in the middle.
She's desperately falling back. Oh, that's a... Look at the firework over <laughs> here! Oh my god, you're almost there! Oh. <laughs> Why the heck she just sound like Shiki from Idol Master Cinderella Girls? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that's your same say you, but come on now. Now, see, it does make me wonder that since Diamond did lose, is she still going to want to do overseas racing, though?
No, no, baby. <laughs> No. Girl, they've been through a lot these last couple of weeks, but oh my god, I'm just so happy for both of them. This was a cute episode. Oh my god. I gotta turn this down. Hold on. Okay. But number one, starting with the fact that these two just went on a date for the first half of the episode and just, you know, eventually Kita's like, okay, you know, we gotta be a little bit serious right now. You know, this next race, this is between me and you once again. It's been a year since our last race together. You clearly won because, of course, when Diamond won... Yes, it showed the, the the power level or, like, the dominance level between the two and such. Um, that, yes, at that moment, Daya was hella more stronger and more, I wouldn't say experienced, but I can mean I can say that in a way, than Kita. So, of course, yeah, Kita had training to do. And, of course, when she did lose, there were a million things going in her mind being like, okay, what the heck just happened? Like... How did I just lose after training so much, after doing this is X, Y, and Z and everything else to my best friend or how we would say her girlfriend. And so I love the fact that through this last year, yes, yeah, she's done a lot of things, even though we didn't get to see majority of it because baby did have some wins and stuff and doing trainings and everything that they're both on equal footing again. But at the same time, the feelings that Kita was feeling, Dai is now feeling those feels and being like, oh shit, like, my girlfriend just kicked my ass, even though last year I kicked her ass, that li that experience level with us is now even greater because there was a point where I was up and she was down and now it's vice versa. But yeah, it still does make me wonder if she is truly going to do overseas tournaments um, next. And then for Kita, what is going to be next for her? Because that was the biggest thing. Like, it, it's their still current goal, especially for Diamond, but... Who knows on what's going to happen in the last couple of weeks that we do have because we only really were on 9, so 10, 11, 12, 13 episodes, I believe. So four more weeks, three or four more weeks before we're done with the show. Um, But yeah, even, okay, let, let's talk about one other thing. I love the fact that they literally, with the promo for this race, literally showing every other winner. Like, yeah, same best girl McQueen. Like, uh, mwah. oh my God, just still... Once again, because, like, and this is how I feel even with three fucking seasons into this, and I know I will feel it even when we get into season four, whenever the hell that comes. Having, like, or seeing the girls who won in the past still be in the show, but they don't get, like, the traditional of, oh, hey, this whole season's gonna be about you. Because last year with season two, that was Tao McQueen, and I, and I freaking loved it. Season one was special week and then you look all the way up until now where it's like yeah they're still in the show yeah you know they get to have these moments and fans are truly happy about it and such but you secretly wish like there was an episode focusing on them and you know even though they've accomplished like everything that they really could have dreamed of at their moment even if like let's say um due to an issue or something everything just you know came crashing down and they had to stop at the moment they still are happy with what they accomplish okay gold and such but they're still here um but if, I, if we could yes i would love another episode focusing on my best girls i'm just saying you know you, you could do it but it's okay this is also making me trying to 
possibly, and maybe I will do this, I don't know. I might not do it on my phone because I have too many games on my phone. Even though it's technically, I think I have five, six games on my phone. But of course, because they're Japanese games, they check a lot of fucking space. That's why, I, I thank God, <laughs> I thank God I do not have Genshin on my phone or on my iPad because, oh my God, like the, the space that's on that, thank God I have it on my PlayStation because, oh God, I cannot imagine that space. Um, but I might end up either, either re-downloading the Pretty Derby game or downloading it because, I, I mean, I've heard good things about the game. Um, and I want to see for myself. I know like initially when it came out and I think that came out while was, we were on season two, Everybody was like, oh my god, go play it, and such, and so I, I was like, I don't know, I was like, eh. and so I kind of said no, because I was already playing too many gacha games, like, already, or I play way too much gacha games, and I only spend, well, y'all not gonna know how much money I spend on my gacha games, <laughs> one day, but not today, um, so yeah, maybe this weekend, or maybe like later on, because I still have like a lot of stuff to do. But yeah, this was sweet. I mean, still happy and, you know, sad because of who won and who lost and such, but still, regardless, I am congratulating both on how they did on this, and like, yeah, I'm super excited to see what the heck is gonna happen in episode 10. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of season 3 of Pretty Derby. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!